This is you. And this is the three men you'll date at Tufts. You met during O week. He seemed nice. Cuffed jeans, painted nails, and a stick and poke tattoo of a tree. Or maybe it was a duck? Either way, he was way cooler than you. He knew of niche bands like Five Girls, One Fork and Prolapsed. He did ketamine in the Crafts House bathroom. He made you feel rebellious, like in a way that your family back at Westchester would disapprove of. He offered to draw you naked like Leo in Titanic as fun foreplay, but then left mid-sketch because he couldn't get the shading right. I guess he couldn't take criticism in the studio, nor in the bedroom. He was a refreshing change of pace after the emotional roller coaster of dating a man in the arts, a nice mechanical engineer. He was approachable in a golden retriever kind of way and helped you get an A in CS11. He was on the climbing team too, so shockingly ripped under his Patagonia fleece. However, he turned out to be the real life Hulk. You'd get into stupid fights like. What do you mean frisbee is not a real sport outside of Tufts? Using dude wipes is just as effective as a shower. Why would you assume my natural deodorant doesn't work? His idea of a picnic was a cliff bar on a napkin. And as time went on, you got the feeling that he was really only dating you because you had a car and could take him to New Hampshire from time to time. You met him at a collegiate sketch comedy after party. He was cute and reminded you of your sexual awakening, Milo from Atlantis, the Lost Empire. But when you woke up the next morning to see Nietzsche on his bedstand, you knew it was a bad idea. He thrived in highly populated environments where he could be not like the other guys, like Peenie's Pizza on a Friday night. He was a philosophy major with a 2.3 GPA because his professors just didn't get Plato like he did. It probably didn't help that he wrote all his essays while listening to his Vibes playlist, which was exclusively The Strokes. A so-called socialist, he secretly had a Tesla parked in Dowling. He would always say, capitalism is the root of all evil. But dude, you're the heir to Exxon Mobil. Maybe this is for the best. Maybe dating in college isn't for you. Maybe you should drop out and join a work stay in the French countryside. You could raise chickens and eat croissants and go to the Eiffel Tower and... Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Actually, maybe you'll give dating one more shot. <laughs>